what's popping in the world of young Hollywood. Stop! It is such an honor to meet you. you. Congratulations on such a fabulous performance. You absolutely killed the stage. Thank you. How do you feel? I might have wounded it, but I'm not sure I killed it. <laughs> What's it like to be back on the stage again? Well, it was a little bit frightening, but it was fun. You know, I mean, the stage is kind of my home, so it, it was it was great. It was yeah. really great. It was just I was a little bit nervous because it's my I had a problem with my throat, so I was thinking, oh, I'm just gonna have to go on and do this with having a great time because my throat's not the best it's been in a long time. So, but, but it was sounded, fun. Yeah, you sounded amazing tonight. And I know all the fans out there, they're so excited for your new album coming out September 24th. Yeah. What well, can you tell us about it? Well, it's uh, uh, the album that I can compare to the most is the Believe album mm -hmm. because it's, it's that kind of so great dance songs and then mallet, ballads and then kind of quirky little songs, you know, and, uh, and that kind of don't fit. Like there's a beautiful song about 9-11 called Sirens that this girl wrote and then it got left behind, you know, it wasn't a hit. And then I picked it up and the producer that did Believe with me, he and I did it together. So there's, it, it's very eclectic. Yeah, and you actually described Closer to the Truth as one of your best albums ever. For all the fans who's been following you since the beginning of your career, what do you think they'll be surprised to hear in this album? Take it like a man. <laughs> I love it, Cher. Thank you so much for chatting with us. For more celebrity interviews, log on to popstoptv.com. Pop culture for the next generation.